Aaron. Hey, what is up? That was just sitting on my uh, front steps. Nice. Well, we, we think that we are rolling up in just a moment here. We're just coming to the gate. Got a little lost. It's a cool neighborhood you live in, though. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty sweet. I have my own, my own private driveway. Wow. I think I see you guys. Right. This is this is beautiful out there. All right, we'll Wonderful. see you in a sec. All right, bye. That's unreal. Have a castle too. Something as, like that. Not, <laughs> not as castle-y. Heather, we are excited to have you and to hang out with you today. Thanks. Yeah. We're gonna do some fun nice. things. Do you like animals? I love animals. What's your favorite animal? Um, big fan of of, of sheep. 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 Yeah. Hopefully yeah. we can. Uh, we might be able to uh, or a duck. help you see a duck. Definitely, I think you can see a duck today. <laughs> Has anyone said that their favorite animal is a duck before? Dude, I love ducks. Yeah, but yeah. it's not your favorite animal. It's like on the list. That's a, I'm not a short On the list, list of animals. The favorite animal. I, I would know. say elephants and then probably ducks. <laughs> a duck. Well, cool. Um, we'll maybe see about a duck, maybe a sheep yeah. later today. It'll uh, be good. That'd be cool. Tell us about yourself. Tell us about um, your background, upbringing, your family, your gifts, hobbies, funny facts, whatever. Sure. Give us the lowdown on who Heather Lynn DeBoer is. <laughs> okay, you got my little name. That's cool. That's right. Um, grew up in Clarendon Hills. Um, I have a go Clarendon Hills. Yeah. Go Eagles. Yeah. Um, I have a twin sister. Her name's Jillian. Um, we look a lot alike. You guys. Uh, and Paige is my older sister. Um, and yeah, I went to Prospect, Claire Mills, sure. uh, middle school, and then um, yeah, grew up coming to Cal and uh, at Christ Church. So, hobbies, I guess. Um, I grew up swimming. I went to Westmont Swim Club. Um, nice. Yes, pride. Um, played water polo in high school. Uh, big fan of the water. What, what position did you play in water polo? Um, I How does that sport driver. even work? So it's, driver. Um, okay. Yeah, if position you, driver? Yeah, that's crazy. I never knew that. Yeah, you're playing driver in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was it kind of similar to this, but in water? <laughs> kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, can you tell us a little bit about your, your faith journey? Like I said, I grew up in coming to Christ Church. Um, so I would come every Sunday morning, um, pretty much every Sunday morning. Um, and yeah, and I really liked it. Well, no, I actually shouldn't say that. I kind of didn't like it when I was little. Um, I hated when my mom would like drop me off for Sunday school. Um, I just like wasn't wasn't super into it um, until fifth grade. Um, I think I was just uncomfortable with like like yeah, not knowing anyone and and like leaving my family. I just for whatever reason felt like church was uncomfortable for a little while. But then in fifth grade. Um, something clicked um, and that's when I like like really wanted to um, yeah come to church um, for myself not just like with my family what, what was it that clicked or what was it that um, maybe yeah motivated that click I guess yeah yeah so I actually remember what we were talking about um, I think it was the fifth grade before we were going to Cal um, because we talked about um, Hebrews 12 1 and 2 um, which has been like one of my favorite verses um, since. Um, and we're talking about missionaries and, and the cloud of witnesses. So it was about um, how there's like this whole crowd of people who um, uh, who have come before us um, who serve in the name of, of Jesus and how um, this group of people, like the missionaries, um, seek social justice and how they um, seek to um, care for others and comfort others and um, yeah, promote justice and, and help um, where there's need in the world. And I was like, wow, I want to be a part of that. Mm. And that's when it when it clicked. Of, really cool. um, this isn't just like a religion. This is um, following Jesus means um, creating justice in the world. What have been some of the other more defining moments of your faith? Yeah, um, I think kind of along that line, um, I think there are 
like a lot of times on like service trips. Um, so like mission trips, um, first one was San Francisco. Um, and um, I think that was like having outlets of um, going to, to like really intentionally and like deeply serve was where I like really connected with, um, with God. Um, so um, San Francisco was probably that first one of um, getting to go and, and serve the homeless. In, sure. um, yeah, physically getting to be um, the hands and feet of Christ um, sure. to others and like meeting their needs and, and listening and caring um, for them as people. That's when um, that was a big, um, like an important role. Um, and then since then, the other trips, um, I think, have just um, like added to that other mission trip. Yeah. That's yeah. Really cool. yeah. Uh, what I'm hearing is like you've got a, a passion for justice mm -hmm. and running this yellow light. <laughs> we made it. Just barely. <laughs> um, you got a passion for justice and so how do you see that intersecting with your faith or how does your faith motivate you towards that justice mindset? I think it's just looking at um, who Jesus is and like the life of Jesus. Um, like knowing that um, that Jesus came for us um, first is like the most selfless act um, there ever was. So if, if Jesus came and, and died for me and um, is offering me life, like that is the most selfless act. And like I have no, um, I, I want to live selflessly to others as Jesus did. Um, but then also like looking at his ministry, like he, what Jesus did, he came, he showed us like how to live. And, um, and that was, um, giving a voice to the voiceless and, and comforting those who needed comfort. And well, we have we arrived. <laughs> um, so we're here with the animals at Cosley Zoo in Wheaton. We are going to visit all the animals. Do you think there are any ducks? There better be. <laughs> if not, we're not paying. I think we're asking for our money back. Yeah. To We're here for the ducks for Heather. Yeah. Duck time. speak a little bit to how hardship or challenge or, or, or hard moments that have impacted your, your faith journey? Yeah, um, I think the first one that comes to mind um, that was um, happened in, um, in middle school um, was just, um, yeah, like friend drama, which I remember in um, eighth grade. Um, they, I had a really tight group of friends and um, just for a bunch of different reasons, um, it fell apart and um, and just left feeling very like alone and and so in that kind of like harder time when I um, yeah was feeling um, excluded and alone, um, found myself coming more often to Cal um, and that uh, and that's when I met um, one of my best friends, um, Carly Channa. Um, and shout she, out Carly. Shout out Carly. Yep. Hi, Carly. <laughs> um, and she was just like it's 
such an unexpected blessing. Of, um, I always like kind of knew her, but um, but then coming to Cal more often and, and bringing her along too, um, and just seeing her every week, um, she became like one of my best friends and is still one of my my best friends today. Um, so it's just um, like so cool that I can look back and be like, God didn't want my group of friends to fall apart and God didn't want, um, it's not like he had intended for me to be in this place where I like felt alone um, and I'm certain that like the times where I, um, it, yeah, felt upset that he, he was like sitting there next to me crying because I, um, but, but what he does and what is so beautiful about, about God is that he takes that like really difficult situation and make something beautiful out yeah. of it like a like wow. a new friendship yeah. and um and like deeper connections with um like my herd and my awesome. small group so yeah if you were to give one challenge mm -hmm. to our students um in terms of pursuing faith or um yeah just walking a life of faith what would that challenge be um can I cheat and do two challenges? <laughs> I guess. We'll, we'll let it slide. Because okay. It's, because it's you. So you guys have to do both of these challenges. Both of them. So, um, so I would just challenge you to find um, an outlet to serve. Um, it's easy to... Um, like you, we have mission trips which are like incredible, but the times also where I felt most connected with God is when I... Um, like I said, have time to um, for devotionals and, and stuff each day, but also when I have a regular outlet to to serve, um, whether that be at like a food pantry or um, serve um, as like a, a small group leader, um, I've just found that um, that is has been really meaningful for me. So just find a place to serve and find a place to really get to be Christ's hand in, hands and feet um, on a regular basis. Uh, second challenge, um, along with um, talking about. Hebrews um, 1 and 2, Cloud of Witness, um, find those people now. Find the people, the friends that can encourage you along the way and be bold to like um, offer um, correction when they need it or um, and um, accept the, um, uh, them holding you accountable too um, and just find those people who can encourage you um, on your, your faith walk. That's awesome. Yeah.